funniest thing very quick. This is a quick this is a clip of one of the parts of Tears of the Kingdom. But I was going to stream uh well I was gonna stream the day before mm, yeah. I don't know what I'm thinking. I was going to stream on the day before Monday or the day before yesterday for you guys. But for me today, which is the 10th of September. But I decided to do that on yesterday and what I would have streamed was Super Circuit. You know the one. So, on to the video. I don't know if I will be promising that this is the last video, and if, I, and if it wasn't promised, that means it wasn't the last. We'll come back for some more Tears of the Kingdom. And last time, wasn't as difficult as I expected it to be. We completed, meaning we completely rebuilt, New Orleans Village. There's one thing that I completely forgot to do that I said I was going to do last time and I will do it before I do what I'm going to do in this video. And that is that in this video that's pretty neat. But I was going to do the Zora's Domain but instead I am going to do a side quest I need someone in the na in the end named Sun. Bolson was not it, but it was Samson, I think it was. And also, I got a star every star I see in the sky and remove that star because then I would know whether I've done it or not. And there are a couple of sky islands I haven't done yet that I am due to do soon. Also, I'm pretty much remembering one of these wasn't actually a thing that I could do. It's sort of funny because Lookout Landing is the only city that has the tower theme. It's pretty neat. Or oh, I'm wrong. Honestly, I did forget. So I'm supposed to find a guy whose end name is Sun, but I have, I have figured out where that guy is. Maybe. What? Luck. Oh, Spot. Where did you get off to, Spot? Well, look who it is. I sure can't thank you enough for helping our mini stable come together. Oh, heard me talking to myself, did you? Spot is the name of my beloved horse, you see. Truth be told, he's missing. Ran away just before the stable was built. Well, he's always been a meek horse, so I can't imagine he's run off too far. Mm. He's beautiful. Just one look at the silky, gentle beige coat, and you'd know it was him. Of course, you'd recognize his unique gray grappling, too. That's the reason I called him Spot in the first place. A horse like him, I bet you he's someplace with a nice view, taking in the sights. Just wish I don't have so much trouble climbing to high places these days. Spotting Spot, as a neat name. Now, originally, you would be seeing Hestu here at Lookout Landing if you didn't go through Hyrule Forest, because there was one guy who was super confused about how they weren't finding Hestu at all. No matter if they completed the game or not. And I've already confirmed many times that the only reason he would be at Lookout Landing is because the first time you see him is supposed to be somewhere and then before you conquer Great Hyrule Forest then you get to see him at Lookout, at Lookout Landing. And then after you conquer Great Hyrule Forest, he won't be there anymore. So that's to confirm anyone who would be confused about that earlier. Anyways, 
I don't know where this guy went, but he's supposed to be at Lookout Landing. Oh, wait. I've never seen this. Lookout Landing, well, I've never seen this. Ow. A new wall! Also neat! I'll get the giant bright moon seeds. Okay, so that's not working. I'm just curious about where this leads. Oh, look at that. There's really nothing else. Oh, there's a chest. How did I not see that? Oh, really? This wasn't supposed to be in this chest, was it? Because, my word, a royal claymore with attack up plus nine. Get rid of this anytime. Oh. That's where it leads me. That sort of makes me wonder if I would have been able to go down there in the first place and that would have been like a secret scene. I never knew that le that well was there. So there's a Zora. I've actually never talked to Numian. Uh. Blink, it's you! So you have returned to the lookout landing, eh? We of the Zora were sent by here by the order of King Sidon. Please, rest assured that we are oh, sworn to protect lookout landing by the honor of our king. I had never left Zora's domain before this, so living here feels very new to me. <laughs> it is interesting, even if I do have to train all day. Oh. The captain is strict, but compared to how tough things were with the sludge, this is nothing. Now it is our turn to pay our debt. We will protect this fort with everything we have, just as you protected the domain from the sludge. Garrison, who remained in the domain, was planning to go out and defeat nearby monsters. I wonder if all went to plan. What was I? Ah, what was I? What am I saying? Of, I suppose there is no sense in fretting over a heroic Zora like her. Hey, you protected the domain. That is why this home. We, uh, that is why this time we will be the ones doing the protecting. Jambo. Whoops. Oh, wait, what, do, what would you say? Thanks for telling me about the situation in New Orleans Village. I can't tell you how upset I was when I heard how those pirates had trashed everything. Now I'll be able to do business with a clear head. Oh, before you go. I couldn't help but notice that lovely fabric you've got. Ah. Have you thought about bringing it to the dye shop in Hatino Village? That's a hamlet on the edge of Nukula, southeast of here. It's not exactly close, but I think you'll find it well worth the journey. Hatino cheese! Really want to find the freaking hearty bass. And also, I'm trying to find one of the other people. Also, this is a mini stable. No. Yeah, mini stable. Carson, are you him? Okay, so he will, he will say something about that. It, I don't re, don't mind reading the first five li lines of it, but then he asks about anybody who needs a carpenter. So it's not. So it is Carson. Carson is the one that works with Bolson. I didn't know if it was Carson or Samson, and now I know it's Carson. 
Naruto's bridge. Ah. They need someone to rebuild their bridge, huh? Sounds easy enough. I heard it fell apart when that blizzard struck Rito village. But if they're looking to have it fixed, that strange weather must have died down, eh? Ah. Well then, no time to gab. I'll have that bridge looking good and new in less than no time. Son and done. Now I gotta go all the way up here. I gotta get on a, a snow pool headdress and complete that quest. And then I'm gonna go to Sidon. An amiibo may be used only once per day. That's a good thing to know. And soon enough I'll be exploring this entire region over there. Because I have explored it a little, but not all the way. It's worse than I thought. Mm. I'm sorry, Carson. I wish we had more building supplies for you to use. Huh? Now, Gason, this is my fault, not yours. I was too rosy with my estimates. What happened? Ah, oh. oh, Link, it's about the bridge job. We've hit a bit of a snag. See, there's things in worse shape than I accounted for. Huh? Carson here estimates that we're short 20 pieces of wood. Is that right? Ah. Yep, we may be able to get what we need by chopping down trees. But that will be a whole project in itself. How many pieces of wood do I have now? Not enough, I, I, I assume. There it is. I only have nine. Then I can just cut down these trees. Now you this. It's funny how almost everything guarantees a material. A banta wheat. Two more. To the Heber Mountains! Oh, where did he go? Oh. You're short on, short on wood. Here you go. Uh? Hmm. It's wood! 20 pieces of it! it Must have been the real pain in the neck collecting down on your own. You sure I can have it? It was pretty much a pain, but it, was, it wasn't as painful as getting the logs for Bolson. Oh. Aces, thanks much. Alright, that's all the materials. Ah. Come on, Gason. Time to fix this busted bridge of yours. Son and done. Gason, let's plunk this down a little farther to the left. Not that far. It's falling down the cliff. Timber! Hey, good catch. Those wings sure come in handy, eh? Or wingy. Hey, don't set your tail down there. It's a support beam, not a perch. And now for the finishing touch. Here goes. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Okie dokes, feeling pump. Gonna get this done in one fell swoop. Sun and done. Oh. The bridge is finished. <gasps> Amazing. Fantastic. Now we can carry supplies across. Oh. I gotta say, I was a little worried at how it turned out, but what a beaut. We could hit this bridge with ten blizzards at once, and it wouldn't so much as crack. Oh. 
With that done, life in Rito Village should return to air something like normal. I will take responsibility for guarding the bridge. Please accept this gift. A silver lupe. I had that money set aside for repairing the bridge, but I hope you will get some use out of it. Ah. And with that, I'm off to Buckout Landing. Okay, son, if you ever need my help, just say the word and I'll come running. No problems too small. Huh. Thank you. That's very reassuring. And the same goes for you. You have an up an invitation to call upon your help. Uh -huh. A bridge connecting Hylians and Dorito, literally and otherwise. This is gonna make a great article. Dorito Rope Bridge complete. You may pass. How many side quests did I have to do? I had to do... I have now to do nine of them. Shrine quest, I still have five, and two of them are sky crystals. I still have yet to do this. The high spring and the light rings, I have no idea. To, from the spring high in the heavens to the mountain below, pass through the rings of light to see the light of blessing. And then this. The white... The White Bird's Guidance. Which all of that I would be able to do, but I don't know what to do about the one Shrine Quest. And then Main Quests. Side Adventures is no, is no problem. But Main Quests, I have four. Find Princess Zelda, which I already know. I already found Princess Zelda. That is, that is something I don't really... I don't really get what, how that's not complete. I already found Princess Zelda. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. And then Regional Phenomena. That one, there's only one left, which is at Death Mountain. And then Guidance from Ages Past, which I'm going to do at some point. Going back to Rito, not Rito, Zora's domain. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to try to see where all the star islands are because it's not really making sense how I'm not finding any. It's probably because they all are anywhere. Like they're anywhere around here, but they're they're like random to find. They're not startled. Where could she be? A floating place. I am sure that's what I heard, but Link, how wonderful! You heard me talking to myself, didn't you? Since you are here, I must ask you something a bit odd. Have you heard anything about? A floating place? I must be on my way. Nope. A floating place? Here is my tale. When my dear wife, May, was out, went out fishing, she was singing this mysterious song to herself. Mm -hmm. I found a floating place where I'll, get, where I'll catch fish with the grace. I hope and I skip to the fi great fishing trip. And with that, my wife hopped and skipped over to the bridge in the east of the domain. At the time, I paid it no head, no heed. She has given this to songs of fancy, but her absence has started to weigh heavily on my mind. Mm -hmm. A floating pl place, I happen to skip away. I have never heard of such a place. Oh. My wife is the type to wash off in the fit of excitement. I am worried that she will do something rash. Oh, oh my beloved May, I dearly hope that she has not gone somewhere dangerous. A wife wafted away. I'll protect him. Amazing! For King Sidon! Naruto. Hey! They found the excited, the exalted Dorophon! And, also, King Sidon returned to the domain! It's amazing! It's great! Maybe it's even fate! So this time she doesn't have a shrine quest like usual. Um, Clef? 
he's unconscious so he's thinking about crabs again. That is just so weird. If you ask me, left from the general store has been acting odd recently. Crab this, shell that, he's mumbling stuff like that all of the time these days. I wonder if something's wrong. Crabs! Crabs! Yeah. Ah, this is our general store, the Coro Reef. <laughs> we were finally able to restock our fish thanks to His Majesty, King Sidon, and you, the courageous Link. You really helped us out in the pit of a pinch. Anyhow, if you see something you like, please just grab it from the table. Oh, unless you some have some other business with me, you tell me and I shall not doubt. Grabs, eh? <laughs> oh, perhaps I am not doing this business job of hiding my overpowering feelings about bright-eyed crabs. Oh. You see, I met a bright-eyed crab right around the same the time of all that nonsense with the sludge came to an end. I was unable to stock any fish because of the damage caused by the sludge, but then it appeared. It was a single, glorious crab. It crossed my path while I was fussing and fuming. I was irritated. I was famished. And so, I swallowed it all. Yes, the spikes were incredibly painful. But once I was able to transcend the pain, there was magic awaiting me. No, more like it was greeting me with a warm hug of savory unami goodness. Don't I, oh, whoops, I even read it wrong. Well, don't ask how I know about that word. It was the tastiest thing, perhaps, ever. <laughs> Ooh, I am positively drooling about thinking of, just by thinking about it. My word, my reading sucks. One or two is not enough, not nearly. No, I need ten. Can you please give me ten of those decadent, bright-eyed crabs? <laughs> Naturally, I shall make it worth your while. This transaction will surely keep me from becoming crabby. Crabby! Some other time. Wonderful! I will look forward to seeing you again. I don't think I have enough, but I gotta check just in case. I think I only have eight, but I might be wrong. Oh, I have fourteen! A crabulous meal. Red eyed crabs! Oh, it seems like you have what I need. Care to make a crab trade? Yes. Ten claw inspiring crabs. Oh yes, crabs galore. Just gazing upon them, I can feel that mommy goodness washing over the intense pain in my mouth. Mm. You have my thanks. In fact, here, since this is our first crab trade, oh, I threw in a little bonus until we meet again. A sapphire. Oh. When you gather more bright-eyed crabs, please let me know. Oh, well, great. Now it's a sapphire trade. I really wanted diamonds. At that time, I will make a trade for some products that are equal in value to the number of crabs you sell out. Yeah. <laughs> equal in value? wonder what that would be. Yeah. <laughs> Find ourselves in our, in our tasty fish. Procured straight from the delectably fresh waters of Do Zora's domain. If you see something you like, please just grab it from the table. Oh. Unless you have some other business to tell me. Want to sell. I want to see how much the bright eyed crabs are normally. I have two diamonds, and I need one more just to upgrade the champion's tunic. Also known as the champion's leathers, and I so much wish that I would call it a champion's tunic, but it's not that called that anymore. <clears throat> Darn it, it's all the way up here. Eight. So, eight times ten is eighty. Hmm. Interesting. So the only thing that would be worthwhile is a topaz. Oh. Your wish shall, your wish shall be my command. Goodbye. Oh. Come back soon. Did you happen to talk to Clef? Mm -hmm. Was he saying stuff like crab and shell and pinch, things like that? He wanted some bright-eyed crabs. Huh? He wanted that many crabs? <sighs> so that's why he was saying all that weird crabby stuff. If he, if he likes crabs that much, then I'll have to go find some for him. That's cute. So you have come! 
the sledge has disappeared, and the new king has taken the throne. A wonderful new page has been added to the history of the Zora. I wish that you could stay forever in our beautiful domain, Link. But as I understand it, you must be leaving. If you ever grow weary during your journey, please return to Zora's domain. You are always welcome here. Yeah. Link, once again, you have done Zora's domain a great service. Thanks to the efforts of you and our young King Sidon, the domain has been saved. Uh, you must allow me to thank you. Link, if you intend to go up against the various phenomena plaguing the world, you need a weapon that is up to the task. The Light Scale Trident has been passed down through generations of the Zora since ancient times. I, it will not fail you. Bring me the necessary materials and I will craft one for you with all due haste. You must acquire a Zora Spear. Three diamonds and five pieces of flint. None of that changed. Even the Zora Spear that has decayed will suffice. Return to me when you have acquired your materials. I will be waiting. I have all but the three diamonds. Not bad! Not bad at all! I don't know how to get the diamonds. I don't even have a diamond blade anymore, or do I? But I don't want to. You I don't want to rip that apart. I'm gonna upgrade my champion's leathers. I'm just seeing what all of the side quests are. Finley. Hey, Lenny, listen up. I found a super old story in an ancient manuscript while organizing the inn's bookshelf with Finley. Uh -huh. Here's the story from the ancient manuscript. Long, long ago at Harm Point. A blessed stone was hidden away within a sacred shrine. So, I have to go there to get the gem. It was a magnificent shrine that was overflowing with blessings. <laughs> See? That is clearly an ancient manuscript. <laughs> That's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> it contains a fabulous secret. Right? That's a bit of a stretch. Nope. Oh. Right? I knew of all people, an adventurer like you would understand, Lenny. This is probably something left behind by my great-great-great-great-grandpa. Probably even more great than that. It says the shrine is sacred, so there must be some truly amazing treasure there. Oh. As soon as she read this, my daughter, Finley, declared she was off on an adventure to find the treasure. Before he knew what hit him, she and she had grabbed Sasan and together they raced down out of the domain. <sighs> Finley is headstrong to say the least. She'll be fine, but I'm a little worried about poor Sasan. Tarm Point is way off to the southeast of the domain, so it's pretty far. Hope they make it there safely. True treasure. So it's a side quest, not a shrine quest. I haven't had a shrine quest in a while. Fan Ah, stick! Hey, Baz! It's been a while. Oh. Link! So you were responsible for the sludge disappearing. I must have guessed as much. Thank you, good sir. As captain of the guard, it is my duty to reflect upon the awful tragedies endured by the domain because of the upheaval. Oh. From this moment forward, I shall forever steal myself in service of His Majesty King Sidon. I shall do so faithfully, just as my father, Sagan, served the exalted Dorafon. Now it's time to see about one other... Oh, this is where the shrine was! Hey! Memories, right? This was where the shrine was before. Now it's just a big bunch of nothing. Man! So it makes me want to use the travel medallion there for nostalgia's sake. But I won't. There's also a bright-eyed crab here. See how many I can get. That's all apparently. Oh look. Never mind. There was two there. Man, that brought me back memories from a while ago. <coughs> how many food do I have? How many pieces of food do I have? Apparently a lot. But not even not even all of them are like healing ones. I feel like making more, but I feel like this is a lot. Like 60 would be 
enough and how many I have already food wise is at 41 so good but yeah let's do it man you're getting some food because I need it and I'm gonna make it have a hearty lizard first yeah you know what I'm gonna actually do this honey apple not, not apple sorry I'm gonna do golden apple hydro melon no meat first I'm also gonna do a sunny pumpkin. Neat. Ah! That's not a lot. Normal meat. Apple. Wild berry. Rock salt. And a sunderland, because why not? I'm looking for rock salt though. I'm just wondering somewhere around there. There it is. I was about to ask where it was. Now where did the Sunderland go? There it is. Four hearts plus three of those. Golden apple. I feel like doing something that I've been curious about the whole time. And I might as well do it. Not yet, but soon. Meat. And another send the lion. Eight hearts plus six bloom peels. Let's do this thing I'm curious about. One, two, three, four, five. All of them. Oh, come on. That's not that's not all as much as I was hoping. I was hoping it was gonna be like over thirty parts. Plus eighteen. All of that was just for that, man. Now I'm gonna do something silly. Another one of these. The sunny, in, the sunny things aren't really that great. I'm just gathering. Two, three. Looking for rocks all I can never find them in the right place though. Screw it. I don't know what this is gonna be like, but it's gonna be a lot. Oh wow, that was actually really good. I'm gonna leave that as it is then. And then I'm going to the end. Oh. Thank you so much for once again saving the domain. As I'm sure you know, Finley was in pieces worrying about Sasan, who hid, who did not show up here as planned. However, thanks to the sludge finally disappearing, Sasan will, was able to arrive here safe and sound. Oh. Finley was over the moon to see him. The two have... A lot of catching up to do and have gone off somewhere together. I am just so relieved that she is happy once more. As a father, that is practically on par with the sludge being gone. Oh, hey, please forgive me if I am oversharing. Anyhow, back to work I go. Oh. Thank you for coming here so late. Oh. Enjoy a sleep as deep as the ocean here at the sexy bed in. Will you be staying? I forgot. What does a blissful bed do? Oh. It's filled with water instead of cotton. It is like being embraced by the motherly ocean. The water gently enfolds you in its all-consuming benevolence. In fact, our establishment it was highly praised by the princess of Hyrule when she came to visit the domain. So would you care to indulge in the blissful bed, which, again, Princess Zelda herself professed her enjoyment of, yes, until morning. Ah. I haven't even seen Sidon yet. I'm just looking at. I'm just chatting with all of the Sidons. With all you know, what you know what you know what I'm talking about. Yay! You know what you already know what, what I mean at this point, right? So why bother? Also, what the heck is going on? What do I do about the freaking luminous stone? I have so much, and that's driving me crazy. No, when they get really, I must get stronger. Perhaps I could. Hey, Yona, I thought you were someone else. Oh. Sir Link, thank you ever so much for your noble efforts. I have been earnestly pondering what I can possibly do to thank you for saving the domain. However, Giotto found some ancient texts that mentioned the Zora Greaves. 
It is said that those who wear them are gifted the power to swim in the water as they please. I am certain that such an item would be invaluable to, in your quest to locate Princess Zelda. Maybe. I told Sidon and everyone in the domain that I hope to present this special gift to you. However, the graves in question have still not been located. According to the text Yato found, the Zora graves were created long ago. It seems they were offered up at the ancient Zora waterworks as a prayer for the friendship between the Zora and the Hylians. Upon hearing that, I was de I desperately searched there, but I was unable to locate them. I wonder where in the, where in the waterworks the Zora graves were offered. A token of friendship. Cute. Can't do anything about you because I don't have enough to get another heart container. Now I've conquered 91 shrines. 91 shrines! Where did I put all of the travel medallions? I think I placed one in the place that was occasional. You don't have anything. It's pretty much the only guy left is over here. Ah, Link, it is good to see you. I am, after all, indebted to you for your prepare for the stone slate. Thanks to your efforts, the sludge has disappeared, meaning that I can resume my research. Needless to say, I cannot possibly thank you enough. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of thanks, Queen Yona has been searching for the Zora Greaves. She means that to give them to you. I recall an old text mentioning that they were de dedicated to the ancient Zora waterworks. However, Queen Yona has searched the waterworks and turned up nothing. The graves are nowhere to be found. Despite that, I still feel as if they must be somewhere within the waterworks. Perhaps they are in the less obvious place, or perhaps there is a chamber in the waterworks that we are unaware of. Ah, so he doesn't have anything for you. Somehow I thought he was. Can I tell you about tell you more about the stuff that I had to find because if I had to find all of those manuscripts again that was going to be a nightmare because I don't remember at all where all of them are. Hey, it's Dorophon! Hey, it's Sidon! Hey, it's... You too. The electric never stops! The summation, and to repeat myself, is an attendant to, of Queen Yona and is per paramount to demonstrate more self-awareness. At all times and in every circumstance, you must be behave in a way that is in no danger of reflecting poorly on her. What? Yes, yes, I am ever reflecting on that. Indeed, your bigs, your words, oh, your bigs, your words ring true. Uh. Ah, Sir Link. <laughs> oh, Sir Link, wherever are my manners? I was not quick to notice you had graced us with your presence. I am terribly sorry. Perhaps that is because you were so absorbed in lecturing me. Uh -huh. Honestly, and the reason for that is your lack of progress in the tasks that you have been entrusted with. The Zora Helm, we are present to Sir Link seems to be stored in the skyfish. Queen uh -huh. Yona kindly provided you with that helpful information, yet you have done nothing with it. <laughs> yes, yes, that is so. I desperately searched for the river for the fish that ate the Zora Helm, but I returned empty-handed. Uh -huh. Pure silliness, it is unlikely that the Zora Helm ha was placed in an actual fish's stomach. I suspect you should be thinking of the skyfish as a metaphor, leading to the place where the helm is hidden. Uh -huh. You never listen closely to my guidance, which often results in those ridiculous misunderstandings. <laughs> I- <laughs> Help me. The never-ending lecture. I have to find the fish. The sky fish. The secret treasure. Hey, Dorophon! Uh -huh. mm. Armor! Well, upon your back. That is none other than the Zora armor. <laughs> you are wearing it well, courageous one. It brings me great joy to see you in it. The domain has started to return to its usual level of activity. And it is all thanks to your kind of assistance. Hmm. If there is anything I can do to aid you, please do not hesitate to ask me. What's next for you? Mm. Well, now that my boy, King Sidon, has ascended the throne, 
I shall watch over the little ones and the other right to as I please. Such is the privilege of a retired king. <laughs> Once this world of ours has overcome these dangers, perhaps it would be fun to drag Muzu along on a tour of Hyrule. Uh -huh. Is there anything else? No. <laughs> be well, Link. What a laugh. What a jolly old me. What a jolly old dude. And yeah, I don't want to insult your age because I love you all the same, along with this boy here, Sidon. Hey. Ah, Link, your timing is as impeccable as ever, my friend. Hmm. I have not discovered any new hints about your princess, I fear. However, I have stumbled across something fascinating. As I was diligently organizing texts relating to the royal family, I came across one of par particular interest. Mm -hmm. The content regarded of secret treasure, and that once I had thought of you. This seems just your sort of thing. So, intrigued? Yes. <laughs> you never disappoint, do you? Yes. This is just what I expected on my dearest companion. Uh. Of, not on. In that case, I shall let you in on this mystery. There was a passage in the text I mentioned that went as follows. Hmm. The great fish, the eternal guardian, a secret treasure waits just beneath the stony form of its statue. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue, leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls and to find your prize. Oh. So, what do you make of it? It is like a good old-fashioned treasure hunt, is it not? That said, it was a very old book, so it is questionable whether that secret treasure is still there, wherever it was. Oh. However, if there is truth to those ancient texts, this treasure may be of use to you. If you see fit, I am to encourage you to seek it. Under the Great Fish, it says. So I have five new quests. The Great Fish, the Eternal Guardian. A secret treasure awaits just beneath the stony form of its statue. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue, leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. What does it mean? And what is this treasure? For one thing, bridge leading to the fish statue, I'm believing that fish statue is... I wish I knew, but part of me thinks that it's that fish in the sky, but I don't really know if that's the correct thing. And if it's not, then I don't know. I haven't had to look up that in a while. I'm gonna have to look up anything. I'm sort of hoping I'd never worry about it. So there's supposed to be a piece of Zora armor in there. But as for where, that's the logical question, because even I don't know. There was a fist statue literally in Zora's domain. So I basically went out here for nothing. Yeah, that would have taken me a long time because my word that is the, that was not clear at all. Okay, so it was completely wrong. Go underneath the two falls. They would have just that's not underneath the two falls. That's just, that's basically go through the huge falls. That the, that's why it didn't make sense. Is because it didn't make sense. It was not even something that I was supposed to... Well, that just makes me even wor worse for wears. If that was obvious to you, then I'm just a nutcase for not, for not understanding. Because that did not make sense to me. That definitely felt like it was the most confusing quest ever, and it would have taken me never to find that. Like, it would have taken me, like, a pure coincidence to find that thing. I tend to do that. There we go. My word, that was by far the most confusing thing I've ever done. Hey, look at that. Giant gloom. Which I have a feeling 
is going to lead to the gloom hands, which I have a bunch of arrows for, so I don't know. So it's all in the case of mention of if there are gloom hands or not. Oh, and there's a chasm. This is dark. Sneaky river snails, I don't want those. My word, I can never... I'm just trying to break this because I only really want this piece of wood. I'm also trying to find a bubble frog first. There's one. Herp! I think I missed it. I did. Didn't know if there was more. Seems like there are there would be more. What the heck? No, I think I need to chuck a nice fruit all the way over there. Okay, so there's nothing underneath these rocks. I was just too curious to figure out to figure that out. So I got the bubble frog taken care of, so now I gotta go and dip into this huge chasm pit. Letting that luminous stone drown. I'm going in! Discovery. Chasm under Zora's domain. The place I'm supposed to go. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to use any giant bright blue seeds. That fist statue task made no sense, and I don't even know how obvious it was for anyone, because it surely wasn't for me. Oh look, a bright uh, light route that I didn't even expect down there. Kawagam. Ends up there are. Ah, oh, screw it. So there's something over here, and that will lead me to where I need to go. And there's also the great pose. So I wonder what this place is called. And well, this is my first depth exploration too, because the last time I've done an exploration for a headwear was when I had to get it for, and it's called the Abandoned the Nehru Mine, from a cave that was insane for rock mining. Oh! Koga's here, so I get to rematch him. That's interesting that he's in the same place. That's insane. So I had to come here and, and Koga's here too. That's actually pretty dang funny. Wake up, come on! The only known way to enter the depths is through chasms. After your upheaval, many chasms appeared across Hyrule. 
When navigating the depths proves too treacherous, try leaving and returning through a different chasm. To fully conquer the depths, we must find every entrance. Unfortunately, locating chasms is not always straightforward. It is rumored, for instance, that a chasm has somehow opened inside a cave. Surely, this is not the only concealed entrance. There may even be holes that do not seem to be chasms at first glance. But take heart, the gloom that leaks from these pits acts as a beacon, and most can be seen from above. Glory to Master Koga. Well... Let's face this guy because I'm certain that the treasure is actually in here. Because, man, the fact that I'm over here is actually pretty dang funny. Er, what am I doing wrong? Maybe my angle's off. No, that's still not working. D Whoa, how long have you been there? Why, you little, tried to catch me off guard, did you? You cowardly sneak! Like I said before, my plan has changed, but we already mined up everything there is to mine around here. So what you saw was just a, uh, you know. I was killing time. I don't buy it. <laughs> So yeah, you get it anyway. <laughs> I can't believe you followed me to another mine. Persistent little pest. In honor of our long awaited reunion, I graciously allowed you to fight me one on one before, but right now you're the last thing on my mind. Because the end is nigh. Read along. <laughs>
That was hard, my word. Despite the little amount of damage I took, that was pretty hard. I was trying to deflect what he threw at me, but I, I was not doing that on time. Grrr! Ugh! The steering stick got wet, so my hand slipped. No matter, once again, you're too late. I've already dug up all the crystallized charges that this place had to offer. And there's more. I just got word from my underway <laughs> that they found the that they've located the man himself. They found the demon king. Just one more step, one teeny little step until the Yiga clan's long-standing desire comes to fruition. Mm. We have more than enough crystallized charges now, and there's only one more abandoned mine to ransack. Mm. Hear me now, Link. It's time to start the final excavation. The northwestern abandoned mine awaits. That's where I'll use these those charges to activate our ultimate weapon. Offer to the Demon King and bring the world to its end. Our next encounter won't will be our last. You'll get yours, just you wait. Greetings. Thank you for eliminating those intruders. I was listening closely to the goings on. The northwestern abandoned mine that man had headed for was likely the abandoned Hebra mine. But there are few chasms in Hebra by which to reach it. The path stretching from Hyrule Ridge that was previously used is no longer a viable route. Though I recall there being a chasm somewhere that connects directly to the abandoned mine. There is one other thing before you resume your journey. My associate over there manages to seek Gima stones. You may want to ask for one. Inside this chest is a huge crystallized charge. So I have a hundred seventy now. Da -da! Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage the designs for mining equipment. Please hold one moment. I have confirmed that there is a schema stone that you do not yet have. Allow me to re rectify that. A schema stone for the bolt boat. That would be a really useful design for going across the water. I will also prepare the parts required to test it via auto build. I think it only requires a boat, steering stick, and fan. I hope that the scheme of stone I have provided is useful to you. So it requires more than just what I thought. Bolt boat. Oh wow, that's more than I thought. Where are those things? Oh, they're Arca rocks. In this chest, a large crystallized charge. Still curious about where this treasure is. Because I'm supposed to find it somewhere in here. So where is this treasure that I'm supposed to find? So, large zonai charge, zonai charge, large crystallized charge, 
I can only buy four of those. And then crystallized charges. Take all... I won't take all of those. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna just take ten. And then I'm gonna buy all of these. Am I able... I have 69 so I... I am able to buy all of them. And for this, I want to buy... Well, I want to buy these first. I'm able to buy all of these. And then... I want to buy only two because that's all I can take. So now I have 260 of those. So now I got another full battery bar. Still confused about where this other treasure is because I'm supposed to find a treasure in the depths here. I haven't found it yet. So what the heck am I doing here? I battled against Koga. I'm only ending the video after I find the, the gear I'm supposed to find and then hand that satisfaction over to Sidon to show him the excellent gear. Look at that. The most confusing thing is, I'm not seeming to find what I'm needing to find. Or is it not even in the chasm and I went to the wrong place? That was another thing that was hiding behind the waterfall. It was over here, and I didn't think it was over there. Now I need these giant bright boom seats for the leggings. Va Ruta, Divine Helm. Swim speed up. A helm worn by a warrior who protected Zora in the time beyond memory. It's said to deepen the bond with the Zora when worn by Hylian. I completed the side quest is what that was about to say. And now I'm gonna show Sidon. So that one involved me looking up a bunch because first off it said beneath the two falls that didn't make any sense to me. I I didn't get that at all. It should have just said it was underneath the actual bridge that leads to Zora's domain. Not beneath the fish statue. That's the thing that didn't make any sense to me. The bridge leading up to the fish statue, I guess I should have known about that, but, I, but they should have just said the bridge that leads to the domain itself. That's the thing that got me on a confusing level. I did not know at all what the, what the heck to do there. So, now I'm gonna wear this helm to show the others. Thank you, Link. Once again, peace is returned to the domain. Furthermore, although this is admittedly more of a personal matter, my ah. daughter, Dunma, did a fantastic job of protecting Giato. I believe this means she has a good chance of becoming the next captain of the guard. Ah. Link, thank you so much for saving the domain. I'm motivated to follow the example of my esteemed elders so that I can protect Zora's domain the best I can. Like Captain Baz. 
Imadov on an investigation while the sledge was still raining down and returned triumphantly. What? what a legend! I want to see that strong... I want to be that strong one day. If I can become as strong as the captain, who knows what my future holds. Oh. Of course, when I told my father all that, somehow he became even more excited than I was. Typical. Ah, oh, Link, you seem to be in great health. I am glad. The domain has started to return to its usual level of activity. <laughs> Link, I am overjoyed to see you, my friend. I am still gathering information on the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. Your journey must continue ever onward, eh? I shall be with you in spirit, as always. Call upon me whenever you please. Well, in any case, Link, is there something else you would like to speak with me about? What is this? That item on your heroic head. That is none other than the secret treasure, is it not? Oh. You are truly amazing. That is the Link that I have come to admire so. Hmm. Seems the secret treasure was the same helmet that the Sage of Water was wearing. This feeling, it is as though that item is resonating with the Sage of Water's power within me. Link, you must make the good use of that helmet. There is no doubt in my mind that it will further strengthen the bond we share. I am, after all, the Sage of the Water. I am certain that it will prove useful on, the, on your journey as well. I am with you in spirit, now and always. Should you ever need me, do not hesitate to call upon me, my friend. Next time, we're going to Terrytown. See you guys then. My word, this could not stop recording. <laughs>